Hello everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Boardroom as a CRM or Customer Relationship Manager, how you can track customer lifetime value in the tool, and how you can use Boardroom to create custom customer segments that can be used in your email marketing and advertising efforts. So in order to find these useful customer analytics, just come over to the customer section of the menu and head to the My Customers page first. On this page, we can see that Boardroom is automatically tracking my average customer lifetime value, total number of customers, how much revenue has been generated from those customers, the average number of orders per customer, and the average order value. All very important metrics that you should keep your eye on, especially average customer lifetime value. This is essentially your break-even marketing cost to acquire a new customer. Think about that for a moment, but that metric is one that you definitely want to have your arms around so that you can better inform how much you're willing to spend to acquire each new customer for your store. Scrolling down from that average customer lifetime value section, we can see that we've got the customer list here in Boardroom. So we've taken all of the contact and financial information about all of your customers from your Shopify store and given them over to you in an easy to navigate grid. This is not something that you'll find out of the box in Shopify. So from here, I can see about each customer, when they placed their first order and their most recent order, how many orders they've placed with me, if they've used discounts or gotten refunds, what their average order value is, how much revenue they are responsible for at my store, the costs and profitability of each customer as well, also included here. So you can see I've got a whole host of information about each customer. Now, why is this useful? Well, it's helpful to just have this data on hand, but you can also run filters and sorting on this data in order to create your own customer segments. So for example, let's say I wanted to take a look at all customers who had spent more than $50,000 with my brand, just for the sake of this silly example. I'll type in a filter there, and instantly the data is filtered down to only show me customers who meet that criteria. Now I could export this list to Excel and then perhaps upload that into my email marketing platform and send a targeted campaign to this customer segment. Perhaps you can think of other examples of filters and segments that you can create on your customer list that could be useful for your email marketing efforts. In case you're looking for some inspiration, Boardroom also has a segments page where we've created some predefined customer segments for you to review. So hopefully these will spark some ideas, but you can see that we've got your big spenders here, your top 10% of customers by revenue. We've got one hit wonders or people who have only made one purchase with you versus repeat buyers, those who have made two or more purchases. I like to retarget these people because they've demonstrated that they're loyal to my brand. So I can send them a compelling discount code and usually get them to make another purchase. So again, I might export this to my email marketing platform and send them a targeted campaign. You can see the other segments here that are predefined and just designed to get you thinking about how you might meaningfully segment your customers. We also have on this page a sales by day of the week chart, which might give you some insights into whether or not there are trends into when people purchase your products. For example, maybe people only buy your product on the weekend. If that's the case, you might update your advertising targeting so that you only spend the majority of your budget on those weekend days. This could save you a bunch of money in the long run. Finally, the last thing I wanted to show you is one of my favorite pages in Boardroom, our customer heat map. So this page is gonna give me some insights into any geographic trends that might exist into where my customers are physically located in the world. Again, I can use this information to refine my advertising spend so that I don't waste money spending on ads in locations where people really don't have any interest in buying my product. I can scroll down here as well and just see my top five cities at a glance, which is also pretty neat and useful. Hopefully you can see how Boardroom can be used to really make the most of your customer data. Your customer list is really an asset, and many e-commerce brands make the mistake of ignoring that asset. 
So log into Boardroom and check out your customer data today. Thanks for watching this tutorial video.